Welcome. Today we are discussing about how this month February will go to you. Mainly this month focuses about the crucial transitions of various planets, uh, especially Sun in Aquarius with Saturn in Compassed. So this period you will feel uh, general energies are assets. This period will give lot of vigor and positive thinking in all aspects of life. You will be motivated from inside. You will have creative ideas coming to you, help from others and your working place will, you will find the targets more pleasing and you will feel that if the target is slide on you, you feel that motivated and do creative things, think more and put your capacity maximum in doing your work. It's a very good time for those who are in professional life rather than business for professionals this week will give them motivation from your uh, uh, boss or your co-workers your team leaders and also there will be a upheaval in your capacity you may feel very astonished to know that all these days your creativity and your capacity was dormant but now you will feel that they are coming to the forefront to help you in various aspects of life you will be dealing it with a different perspective with creative thinking and positive thinking so these are the uh, outcome of sun in Aquarius there may be some drawbacks like uh, being rageful to complete a thing because Mars is in Capricorn and Venus in uh, Capricorn so these uh, planets can create some type of uh, doing things in hastefulness so that one part you have to take care otherwise Capricorn in Capricorn Mercury is also so there so your thinking perspective and creative outlay uh, output and intelligence will be in the zenith so many things which you were not able to solve out this time you can make it to happen fastly you may be thinking that why i didn't get this ideas before because of combustion of saturn and exhalation of mars that makes things come in a positive Way. So now we will analyze as per every a zodiac whether it is your sun sign or moon sign you just have to go by it so we will start. Aries, your fifth lord is moving into your 11th house, so you will feel a accelerated energy in yourself. Your reputation will go. People will see you with high esteems. There may be sudden gains coming in your life. Your plans will work out very fastly. And from long time, what all works you wanted to do and it was not moving, it was stagnant, now it will start moving. And those who are uh, students and want to pursue higher education, this is the time you can even move to abroad for education and you can get some help for coming up from your elders in this time for your higher studies so this is the things for Aries but you should be little bit calm and spend some time calming you up otherwise too much of rage or too much of motivation can lead you to take wrong steps so that in that part you should take care Taurus, we will see your fourth lord is moving to the 10th house. So home front, it is good. You may do some good works regarding your home renovation or you want to do some long uh, events. You were postponing from long time for home or some auspicious events, doing some puja for home or a family get together. These are all a uh, <clears throat> indicated and job promotion is also there but you should be little bit careful because this period will make you over enthusiastic and not uh, and uh, giving more concern towards home and neglecting your uh, job or giving more time to job and neglecting your home that also is possible for such people you should be more careful otherwise any one uh, aspect of your life either your job or career can be disturbed so that one part you have to take care now we will go into Gemini Gemini the your third lord is in ninth house 
so communication skills will grow there we you will get lot of previously what all you post found you couldn't get fine answers to, for your problems now you, you will get good communication skill you will think your intelligence will be sharp you will get positive uh, solutions for your problems and you want to patch up with your siblings or you had any ancestral issues going on with someone you will know now know the loopholes where you can get success and you can patch up with good negotiations so this is a right time if long time pending cases are there or you want to patch up with someone you want to speak with someone you want to sit and talk and clarify things this is the perfect time for all those negotiations cancer for cancer your second lord is moving into the eighth house i don't appreciate this uh, uh, sthan chalan because there may be lot of confusions and non clarity in life sudden changes coming up basically in your financial front stress in relationship is also indicated so some words here and there can cause lot of hurtful things coming up later on you may feel a um, little bit regretful for what you spoke and also that part you have to take care because main and main there is going to be finances and relationship coming there may be lot of influence of finance is coming up in relationship or relationship ending up with finances that things are indicated so in that part you may be you should be careful don't put all the words in one side and take uh, decisions in one side it may create problem you should think rationally contemplate and then you speak that is better otherwise this loss of relationship will be a long term rather than a small problem so you have to take care for you the remedy for this month is offering milk to shiva temple for abhishek or prashad will help you to overcome this stra strained mindset and stressfulness so all that it can help you to overcome it to an extent and for <clears throat> Leo, your first lord in seventh house. It's a very good time. You will be motivated in many aspects. Your dormant energy will come to forefront. You will find things moving up in a positive way. Long time your finances or your uh, self esteem going very low. Now you will feel that you are and uh, you are motivated. You get lot of things. People appreciating you for your job work or your uh, talents and all are indicated. But uh, a uh, little uh, harsh talking may bring little bit problem both in your romantic and platonic relationship because the only logic is that you will be motivated you will feel elated you will be in cloud nine so you will talk whatever you want to talk whatever is in your mind it may come up out so that may create some uh, problem you can be clear in your uh, talks and negotiations but you should not be harsh in hitting uh, uh, if someone is wrong or someone is doing wrong you don't boss them up don't tell them that uh, on the on the face you don't tell them that it is you can tell it in a sweeter way so that your reputation is not hit or your value is not gone or you don't uh, entangle the issue in a complicated way so that things you need to avoid you on sundays you try to donate almonds that will help clear all these confusions coming in especially in your talks and your part of being very rageful or very dominant and bossing up on others such things you should avoid otherwise this transit is really going to be a very great one Virgo your 12th lord is moving into the 6th house this is not a appreciable combination old issues cropping up money going in settlement of disputes debts are coming up and challenging things are there in your uh, life for this one month there may be some challenges that uh, time frame uh, laid upon you to clear the debts by this time or someone coming up your old enemies cropping up they be, uh, they throw some challenges on you or you you are forced to give them answers in a rude way these are all indicated so donating jaggery on saturdays will help you to overcome these issues
Libra, your 11th Lord is moving to the 5th house. So, very good time for you. Long cherished things can be done. Prosperity will come. Good fortune is there. Movement in finances. Those who are in business and job. For both of them, this is an excellent time. For those who are in job, you can get gains coming up. Promotions coming up with financial gains is indicated. Those who are in uh, business, your old stock clearing up and your uh, old investment like in stock market or any mutual fund fetching you good luck, this all are indicated. But uh, you should be a little bit careful because there may be some issues. For some, it may be a good time. Uh, uh, for some, it may be as such that if your natal horoscope is very powerful, you can get healed of your any spinal cord problem. For others, who are having a weak time period now there may be slight changes in your health regarding your spine health that part you have to take care scorpio your 10th lord is moving into fourth house Family business will thrive. Mingling, uh, mingling business with family tensions are indicated. You should be a little bit careful because your 10th Lord will make you uh, put more effort in your career. Your career will be challenging. Not that it may be a problem, but you will get a very good project. You will get very good chances to prove your talent. You will be more concerned about your clients or your uh, business uh, projects and also you will be putting lot of time in that and that tensions you may get in your home and your uh, at home there may be a different situation that you can't tackle it now you just be postponing that that may create some issues so that part can create some a disturbance with your spouse so that part you have to take care uh, so little bit tensions otherwise keeping yourself calm meditating Daily morning for few minutes will give you the talent to balance both your home front and your work front. So that is there for you guys. So Sagittarius. Your ninth lord is moving into third house. Spiritual uh, values going to higher dimensions. You will be motivated to do uh, light works or meditation or if you are in healing profession, this is a very good time for you. You will get name and fame, good people coming in your life to guide you to go towards higher dimensions are indicated and uh, good karma attracting uh, help from others particularly from with your siblings any differences you had in your with your siblings that will go through negotiations they may recognize your moral values those who were not recognizing you because of your ethical and moral limitations now they will understand that it was all because of your ethical and moral values you were not able able to help them or something like that so this time it will be illuminated your uh, talent will be illuminated your nature will be illuminated and you will be getting help from other realms that you will uh, show what you are who you are your core uh, values will be illuminated so good time ahead for you Capricorn, your 8th Lord is moving into the 2nd house. So, unexpected money loss, stress in family life is indicated. Family will be demanding more money because of some health issue or some uh, unexpected things cropping up in family. So, you may be uh, taking some debts regarding clearing those things and spoil of image is indicated because you are not able to manage both the fronts of finance and as well as family. So there may be some hot discussions coming up. So this is a little bit tension for you. So be donating salt biscuits this month for small children or anyone old people. So this will help you to overcome this issue. So Capricorns need to be a little bit careful because your 12th Lord will gain more power. So a lot of money going away as unexpected expenditure is indicated. Aquarius, 
your seventh lot is moving into your own house so there may be some issues uh, cropping up strong assumptions you put you putting on your family because you will be very motivated you will have you will be charged up so being very charged up you will take things in a such a way that you i want to finish off this thing i am right i am correct i am always correct bossing up on your family that things will make your spouse get irritated or your family get irritated that high spirit energy will make you to talk whatever comes in your mind so that is not the right way you put your intention in a creative way so that the problems arising can be sorted out rather than uh, uh, bursting up so that one part you have to take care so do meditation and calm yourself don't boss up on anyone either in your work in your work sphere also bossing up on your partner uh, your business partner may also create issues in your life partner also bossing up may, may create problems so that one thing you have to balance the best way to balance is to meditation so that will take care of these issues for this month <music>